I will do a quick video on servicing uh, a combine. All right, and it's important that you can't do this. So really quick. First thing you're gonna do is remove the cover and clear out with a rag all of this area here. Then what you're gonna do is clear all the gears. Now you gotta be careful not to use, when you use one of these knives, you gotta be really careful because you'll cut one of the fuel lines. There's fuel lines in here, like this one right here. If I'm cleaning here and I cut this fuel line, that's a that's a that's an oil line. That, so you have to use your hands, or you can use the back of this thing. But be very careful, right? You gotta check all these gears in here, right? And that means getting up under, right? And like up in there, gently, gently moving that out. Uh, making sure all the teeth here are clean. Watch your hands on this. Uh, checking all the gears up in here, up in here. Once you've done that, then you can start greasing up. And the first, one of the most important things to grease up is the track. Now, these, you gotta put 15 squirts. And these are caps. Uh, use a pair of pliers just to pull off the cap, all right? And you put 15 in there. And let's stick it back on. <sighs> kind of hard. There you go, this pops on there. Now these have a bolt on it. And these bolts come off and you're gonna put, and these here you're gonna put 20, the larger gears in here. Actually these look larger, but put 20 in that one. In the very back one here is another one. And for safe measure, put 30 in there. This is your grease gun. Make sure you keep the tip clean at all times. That's why I have it elevated and have a rag. So the basic tools is grease, um, ratchet to move the gear. This is a, to clean between the gears, remove the caps, and a rag to uh, clean things off. This is what I'm servicing, 486. So uh, using the little knife here, what I'm doing is just clearing off the mud around it. Each of things here, all right? So I get access to it. All right, that's it. Once I have that, then what I want to do is start pulling the caps off. I want to do some sort of quarter. And then what I want to do is pull these off. It's tight. And once it's loosened, it should just come off. And there's the pin right there. All right, the grease up is done. Next, I'm going to take my so we did the top one now we move the bottom panels here and you got to clean out all this area and the rear undo this belt here and then this back here's the other where the belt goes on this side and then opens up and clean up here and make sure this is the this is where I cut my finger on the other one so you can see all these blades use a use this knife here um, to basically this break the cords really sharp so you gotta be very careful Super sharp. Make sure you always have gloves on doing this. Alright, so I'm gonna do that. And to open up this back panel, you do have to move this panel off on the side too. So I'm gonna air hose all of this out and clean up all this. So with gloves on, what I'm doing is I'm underneath. You can see me sitting here. Right? And I got 
gloves on. These are good, these with the rubber. It is gently pulling on all this rice straw. Just gently unwinding it. These are very sharp, so you gotta be very careful. You can go slow. I'm pulling, I'm getting hold of it, and I'm pulling away from the blades. I never wanna to pull towards the blades. like that. Draw this draw. And that will free up these blades to cut and I gotta get up in there. And for that, I've got some uh, needle nose pliers to reach up in there. And I get that. <laughs> Here's my teacher opening up more stuff. Saying, hey, you gotta clean in here too. Uh, so those two levers. Uh, cut it, cut it. Oh, hmm. Stuck on something. Doesn't want to go. Ah, put it. Together. It's <laughs> not it. Put it. Okay. Da -da -da. Something in here. Alright, he's gonna put everything back. Flip that up, put that in. Make sure that's locked. Make sure this back one's locked. Okay. Then do it. Back door. Flip stuff. Belt on. Oh, oh. It's closed. <laughs> panels. I know that. I, yeah. これ、水ね。これ。ああ。この中へで水だ。ああ。まず、とりあえずこうやってこれの下も。下からあれからね、どこ。はい。あそこほら。あ、これあるの。これのここ。これの下。あるか。うん。これの本下。あ、ちょっと待って。もういい
ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ನೋಡಿ Now it's time to hose it all down and you only wash the bottom. So that's what I'm going to do next. So before I do that, I'm going to go get some different uh, overalls on to uh, keep it dry. Otherwise I'm going to be soaked. So I'm in my garb and the first thing I do is I break down the big piece of uh, mud. So using a small shovel, what you want to do is break up as much as you can of the, of the mud in here. I go on the other side to show you. You see all this mud in here. You just break it. Now it's hard for me to do it with one hand, so I'm going to pause it and do it with two hands. You can see all the wood, but I'm the mud. I'm going to break it down. Now I'm going to do this one. All right. So this pump here, you got to prime it with water. And um, water from here. And this here. Put it means in the full night. Put it. And there is the final result. A lot of mud gone now. So now that we've done all the maintenance, we're out here harvesting. Now it rained for three days, so the reason why we were doing all the maintenance in the morning was to let it dry. As you can see, there's a lot of water down here. But this rice now is dry. It's been dry. Uh, dried by the wind, ready to be harvested. You can see the difference in color, right? Uh, so this is what rice and water is going like. I'm on the crane truck, scanning the uh, rice unload, so I'm going to have them actually unload it directly onto the truck. on doing is actually having a certification program where people can come here in Japan over a three month to nine month period. That's as long as you can stay with the uh, and volunteer and get certified. Planning, growing, and working on a small co-op farm and learn how to do all the stuff I'm learning right now. And probably I'll be your teacher. Check out this flattened rice field and you think, oh my god, this rice is ruined, but actually Watch here. Here he is picking it up. The machine, these rice machines, the Japanese have invented, are pretty amazing. And here he is picking it up pretty much off the ground. <laughs> 